Hello everyone, this is Dr. Govind Rai Garg and uh, I'm very happy to introduce you to Dr. Rahul and uh, he has recently got a very good rank in INACT exam. Uh, hello Rahul. Good, uh, good evening sir. Uh, Rahul, please introduce yourself to our uh, audience. Good evening sir, I'm Dr. Rahul Mazumdar. I did my UG from Johar Medical College, Assam and uh, currently I'm working as a medical officer in uh, one year as a one-year rural uh, medical officer in uh, Bhadi Bachali PHC. And uh, this last year I studied uh, for this exam. Sir. That's great. That's great. So Rahul, when you joined as MO? So, uh, it's been almost a year. Okay. Uh, I have just five, six days left for my uh, posting okay. to complete. Cracking the INICT exam along with the job. That's a great, great thing. Yes. Heartiest comment. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, Thank you, sir. well done. So this, uh, you will be uh, an example for all the students who are in service and preparing and they are doubtful that whether they will be able to uh, crack the exam or not. So you are, will be an inspiration for all of them. Thank you so much. Sir. So that's great. So uh, I think we should talk uh, how you prepared and uh, so that uh, others also can get the idea that uh, how they can crack the exam. So when you, do you start your studies? Actually, I uh, started my study after completing internship, sir. Okay. Uh, during my internship was very difficult and uh, we have, we were uh, like used to do a lot of work so during my internship I couldn't study much so after completing my uh, internship immediately I started uh, with my preparation every day I used to study about six to eight hours uh, every day whatever it may be along with my duty and uh, I used to revise a lot sir so that helped me a lot uh, along with that, I gave GTs and uh, salt events. So, in Rahul, just let me know that uh, how did you spare time during job? So, six to eight hours daily, it will be a very difficult task because you have to join the job also. Then you come back, you are tired also. So, how you uh, got motivation to spare those six to eight hours a day? Uh, motivation is all because of you, teachers, sir. You really it helped me a lot with your motivational speeches and all. But apart from that, a lot of research on uh, about my, I had a good rank in my university. So I had preference of which place I want to join. So I did a lot of uh, research and uh, I chose a place where the patient load was relatively less. Uh, I used to uh, have about 30 to 40 patients per day and no evening or night duty. So uh, 30 to 40 uh, uh, patients you can see easily during uh, four to five hours of duty. And along with that, you will have about two to three hours of uh, time to prepare uh, along with the duty too. So I uh, want uh, I to see patients and when uh, in between when there was gaps or something, I used to just study along with it. Uh, apart from that, after coming home, I used to have food then directly get back to study for one and two hours, then sleep. Then at the end of the uh, day, I uh, was to study uh, whole night till 1 or 2 p.m. 1 or 2 a.m. So uh, you started study around one year back and uh, in between there was another NEET exam also. Did you appear for that also? Uh, no, NEET was during my internship, sir. Okay. You I you. appeared there, uh, but uh, without preparation. So I got 19,000 rank at box. So uh, now you have got uh, under 100 rank in uh, two digit rank in uh, INICT. So yes. most likely you will yes. be joining the some AIMS uh, Institute or uh, you will be hopefully sir. Twenty thousand. Uh, hopefully I, I it's my dream to join an AIMS. So, yes. so yes. I'm thinking about that only. Definitely, definitely. You will definitely get a good seat. Uh, so all the best for that. Uh, now, Rahul, uh, tell me, what is the uh, time division daily into the uh, theory part, MCQs and different GTs? So please tell the students how many GTs they should give, how much time they should divide between uh, notes or uh, self-study and the uh, questions. Uh, initially, I would say uh, you should try to complete everything as fast as you can. Uh, all the videos. After that, uh, there's not much scope for the videos left. Uh, so after that, you have to do revision only, uh, which helped me a lot, I, according to me. Uh, initially, I didn't give much GTs. Uh, once in uh, for, uh, like four weeks, or once in two, uh, two weeks. But later, half of the preparation, uh, when I used to do only revision, sir, uh, I, to, I used to give GT on Sundays. Every Sunday, I used to give one GT. 
Uh, Rahul, uh, tell me when you give a GT, you will get some correct answers and some answers are incorrect also. So mm -hmm. how you analyze your GT that uh, it can be of benefit for the subsequent exams? Uh, I used to do one thing. Uh, when I used to give GTs, apart from the clinical subjects, uh, which are a bit conceptual, uh, the second year and third year subjects and uh, some uh, uh, second, first year, second year and third, uh, third year subjects, I used to have a separate notebook for uh, GT related questions. Okay. So I used to note them down uh, eventually after completion of the GT. So I used to revise that also. So. Oh. Wow, great case. this is the one thing which i also keep on saying that uh, make a separate notebook for your gts and uh, whichever things are wrong or which are difficult you can keep on writing in that so that you can revise and uh, you can master them so that's an excellent thing uh, so tell me apart from uh, these studies uh, how do you like my mnemonics Sir, your mnemonics are the game changer, sir, honestly speaking. Uh, to be honest, I uh, mainly did my uh, course. Uh, my course was something different. But uh, in that course, I couldn't understand pharmacology a bit. So everyone, my seniors told me, Ki, you should study from GRG, sir. GRG, sir, is the GOAT, greatest of all time in uh, pharmacology. So it was so simple to the point and the mnemonics was so amazing, sir. I took the, uh, the uh, cerebellum pharmacology as my primary uh, source for pharma. And the mnemonics uh, really helped me a lot, sir. So uh, how was the uh, pharma questions in the INICT exam? Sir, uh, yes, it came from the book itself, made most of the questions. And uh, how many questions did you attempt? And uh, what will you advise our students? So that how many questions they should attempt and uh, how many guesses they should mark. So I would attempt. I would ask my friends uh, to attempt more than nine one ninety, because uh, here you don't have you either you get a very good rank or you don't get in no, nothing at all. So better to take the risks. Uh, so I I attempted one ninety eight questions. Uh, about one thirty one forty I was sure. Rest I just Bhagwan Bharasi thora yeah tha sir, and uh, but. Uh, you should take the risk. Uh, after uh, you may not know everything, but you should take the risk at least. I believe that's a great thing to say because uh, I also say that uh, there must be some calculated guesses. Uh, if you keep on leaving in every question, you will have some little bit doubt. So if you keep on leaving yes. all your doubts, you will not be able to attempt even one hundred and fifty questions. So if you are attempting very less, you are already out of race. So mm. that's I also keep on saying that at least trust your instinct. And uh, give a little bit more guesses and attempt more than uh, 190 questions at least in INICT. So that is very important point you have made that uh, it is all or none. So selection hoga ya fir nahi hoga. So each ka rasta nahi hai. So you should take a chance. Uh, very well said. And uh, it paid off for you. And I'm very happy for that. Thank you so much. So Rahul, I think uh, we have talked a little bit about studies. So uh, what about your personal life? What are your hobbies? I used to play chess. I was a, I was a uh, district champion once. Oh, and great. apart from playing chess, I don't do much right now. To be honest, I play games uh, online or uh, I play guitar and all. So apart from nothing much special. No, no, it's, it's you play guitar and you say you are nothing much special. <laughs> <laughs> you are one of a special guy. Yeah. So Rahul, I learned it during COVID. <laughs> great, great. Uh, Rahul, what is your dream branch? Which branch you are trying to offer? Uh, my dream branch would be radio. Sir. Radio, great, great. So all the best you will definitely get. And uh, congratulations Thank to you, you so much, and sir. your parents. Also. And uh, definitely keep in touch. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you, Rahul, yeah, Definitely, sir. And Thank you so much, sir. All is... Our hard work was only 50%. Rest 50% was your blessing, sir, to be honest. Your it's hard work, the way you created yeah. cerebellum, sir. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much sir. sir.